In this video, we're in episode 11 of the Deluge Bootcamp series. We've covered a lot about sound design, but now we're going to go back to basics again, specifically the song mode in detail. And then we're going to make a very basic example of a song idea, and then we're going to record our results into the arranger view. Now, this is just going to be one way to structure a song on the Deluge. There are many others, which I'll cover in later episodes. It is recommended to watch these videos until you fully understand how it works. Even five minutes a day practice can go a long way. So let's turn it on. We're going to press shift and synth to create a new synth preset. First thing I want to do is turn down the volume, just so you can hear my voice. And we're going to go all the way down to C1. And what I'm going to do is enter in a note every four pads. I'm going to go up an octave and enter a note every other four pads. So now we have this. Now what I want to do is go in to the filter, push down the upper gold knob until it says EQ, and turn up the bass. Now we can hear the, a lot more bass there. We're going to go to the attack decay and turn up the decay. Okay, so now we have that. We're going to go into song view. We can see the row here. We're going to add a new one. So we're just pressing any row there. Now press shift kit. We're going to create a new drum kit. We're going to turn to drums and then go to kick and then choose a simple kick drum and enter it in every four pads. And let's just add a snare. So hold down the next row, press load. We're going to go back up a directory. We're in kick, so we're going to turn to snare. And now let's just pick that one. Just listen to it, see how it sounds. Okay, really simple. Let's just turn those off for a minute here. Now, it depends on what zoom we're at, but there's a cross screen effect. So right now we're in 16th. Let's zoom all the way into 64th. Now we can see the kick drum on every screen in that bar. So if I enable cross screen right now, it's going to work according to this zoom we're at. So if I add, say, a snare here, it's going to add it all throughout all the other screens. As you can hear. So that can be pretty useful if you want to make kind of like the base of your drums. And then you can edit in later by turning off cross screen. So for example, if I'm in 32nd view and I press cross screen and I add a snare here, we can zoom out and we can see it just added on the two screens here. Now let's go back to song view by pressing the song button here. We're going to look over how this works. So each of these rows are a compressed view of the clips showing the position of the cursor, for example. And it shows the length of the clip. To identify what a row is, you just hold it down anywhere on that row. And you can see it's synth 173. If I press this one, it says kit 83. If you need help identifying what a row is, you can actually go in to the clip view, hold down shift and turn the up down knob. You can see we can change this clip, which is synth 173, into blue. So the base is blue right now. And in here, the kick drum will change that to oh, yellow. Now we can see the drums as yellow, the bass notes as blue. Now the colors also are on a spectrum, so the higher the note, you can see it changes the color, the higher it goes. Just like we did before, if we add a clip, we just press anywhere on an empty row, above or below, it does not matter, and that creates the clip. If I want to move it, I can hold down anywhere on that row, and turn the up down knob and as we can see we drag it up or down. To delete it just hold down anywhere on the row and press delete. Keep in mind if you press back to undo it's not going to bring that clip back. Zoom works the same way as in the clip view. Hold down the left right knob to see the current zoom level. If we hold down the left right knob and turn it we can change the zoom level. So I like to stay at 16th but if we start making longer patterns, usually maybe one bar. The right column here is section colors. 
These are groups of clips you can create together. You can imagine it as the parts of songs you want to stitch together. So when you're looking at the song view, you want to focus on the right hand side because this is how you can look through the sections of your song that you're working on. You can even hold learn and then hold down on any section color. And if we have a MIDI input and press a note, it's going to start blinking white. And what that means is whenever we press that MIDI note, it will actually trigger that section color. You can only currently have 12 section colors, but remember the pattern or clip length is practically unlimited. You could even technically make an entire song in one pattern or section if you wanted. This row is for mute or solo. If the pad is green, it means it's unmuted. If it's red, then it is muted. While it's playing, if you press a pad, it'll wait until it re-triggers the loop. If you want to immediately change, hold down shift and press it, and it'll turn off immediately instead of waiting. Now solo acts the same way. So you can enable or disable solo by holding down to the left right knob and pressing the mute column. So it toggles the solo on or off. So you can have multiple soloed tracks. And it works the same way. So I'm holding down left right knob and we're just going to press that one and that one. You can see we can turn it off and then I can press a section color and it'll go right in to triggering both. Now that we have this set we can build other sections. So let's copy down some clips. So hold down we can see synth 173 that's the bass and we can see that it's blue. We're going to press down right here we can see it's copied to a new section color. We're going to do the same with the drum kit. So we just copied it. Now we're to new section. So we can see that. I'm going to go into the drums. I'm going to add some snares. And then here we're going to go in. We can either transpose by holding down shift and holding down the up down knob and turning it. Or I can do it this way. I can hold down learn, press the left right knob, that copies that entire screen into the memory. And we're, we have the root note at the bottom here. So I can use it as reference. I want to change it to another note. So that note right there. So hold down shift, learn, press the left right knob, paste. Okay, so now we can play this and let's go back to the first one. Now we're going to copy these down. You can see it's a new section color. Drums copied. We're going to go into that section. We're going to put two drum hits here. And then on the top here, learn, left right knob. We're going to go to G. Shift, learn, left right knob. So we have the three sections here. Let's say I want to make a lead synth, so I'm going to go up, we're going to make a new clip, we're going to go in, shift synth, uh, let's turn down the volume a little, let's go higher, okay, now we're going to go to attack decay, turn up decay, let's go to reverb, turn that up, let's change the oscillator type to saw. Let's exit the menu by pressing any button here, and let's add some notes. So that note. There we go. Now we're going to copy that down here, so hold it down, press here. Now it created that new row. We're going to go into it. We're going to change the notes. so left right knob back and now let's listen and figure out some notes okay so this note just figuring out the timing and the pitch 
Okay, so I thought maybe that note there would sound good. Okay, so that's that section. Now we're going to copy that down to the next. You can see it's added. We're going to go into it. Left right now back. And let's listen to this. Okay, so we're going to put in some notes. Okay, so let's hear out that sounds like. All right, so we have those notes, and now we can switch between these. So I want these to play, say, one time, and then they'll go to the next one, and then down here it'll just keep playing. So let's make a chain. So I'm going to hold down on any of the section colors here. It's on infinite infinite loop so it'll just keep playing until I switch it manually now this is the amount of times you can repeat it so you can bring it as high as you want so it can play that many times I just want this section to play one time and then let's make this section hold it down let's turn that to one and then this is already infinite so if this is enabled we press play see it says one that's gonna go down so that's all we got. I can even go here, it'll play that once, it'll go down. Let's say I want this to play more times, so I press it, press down on that knob, and that's going to keep repeating now, so it cancels it out. So I want this to play an infinite number of times again. So go there, press down, now it's going to keep repeating. Now let's create one more area, so it's going to be down here. So we're going to copy down, we'll see Synth 174 down to here. It's green now. We'll hold that one, bring it down here. And then the lowest one down here. Now we switch to it. Again, let's just erase everything. Left right knob back. And then we're going to go into the bass clip. And we're going to change it. So learn left right knob copied it so this note so shift learn left right knob now we can listen to it now we'll figure out lead to it So that's going to loop infinitely. If I play this chain here, one, one, and it's going to go down here. And then let's say I want to switch to this one. And I don't know the amount of time, so I'll just listen to it and kind of go by feeling. Now, let's say maybe here, it's going to go back to the chain and play it. So it'll just keep playing this. Let's say I want to feel it out and just like, yeah, I want it to keep playing that part. And then let's say change here, change. So we can do this now and record this right in to the arranger. So here's what I'm gonna do though. I'm gonna start without the drums. So that's right here. So I'm gonna mute that clip. Now all I have to do is press record and then song and it's gonna record everything I'm muting and unmuting or soloing right into the arranger real time. So I can now record these results into a ranger mode. This is like printing everything I have here into a recorded linear song. Just keep in mind when we do this, you can't shift mute or shift solo any clips as it's recording to the arranger. That's a limitation. So hold down record, press song, and here we go. Now it's gonna play that. Now, maybe after this, I'm gonna enable the whole clip. Now it's gonna start counting down. 
Okay, I'm gonna let this play maybe two times back up here. Now it's gonna go to here, down to here. Maybe re repeat that a couple times. Maybe we're gonna cut out the drums. We're gonna start over again. Three, four, and. Okay, so we're gonna play that a couple times. Then we're gonna move down here, because we need a little more change. So here. Let's go back to here. Go back down. So I'm kind of improvising this. So I'm not sure what kind of skeleton I want to use. So I'm just improvising. Back up to here. Let's just maybe keep this going. Maybe chop out. There's the drums. So let's turn those off. Let it play. Let's go back to the last one. Now what I can do is turn off the drums. Maybe turn off the bass. And then we're going to mute this and it's going to end the song. Done. Press record and play and we stopped everything. We're going to press song view. We're going to go back. We can see here that it recorded everything that I just played all the way through to the end. So let's press cross screen. And what that means, it's going to follow the cursor. When it goes off screen, it'll follow it. So let's just listen to what we just did. I can go into effect entire right now and play around with the reverb, for example. So I added a little bit, maybe a little delay. Filter. We have the re-trigger. That messes it up a little too much. <laughs> Bit crush. Turn up the reverb to large. Turn up the delay feedback a little. Switch it to analog. And there it is. That's how you can make a real simple song. So now we have the skeleton of a song and we can work on it further and do a lot more than I'm showing here.